Hello and welcome to Warhammer Wednesday. I normally have an unboxing for you followed by me looking at the various parts in detail and then showing you this part of the video which is the part two where the models are completed but for some reason I was not thinking straight and I deleted that part of the video. You have to face it, accept it, deal with it and then let it go. I've let it go but I just thought I'd explain the reason why the video now now starts with the models complete. It was a nice unboxing too and uh, not only did I delete the, the first part of the video I also did that for a couple of other quite large models but you'll know which ones they are because they won't really have me unboxing them in the in the usual way and um, straight from the packet. It sucks but hey we're all in this together you just gotta move past it. Part of being human is to accept our, our imperfections. Without further ado, I'll carry on with the video and I'll show you these uh, these Tartarus pattern terminators. I hope you enjoy it. And welcome to part two of this uh, review of the the Tartarus pattern terminators from Forge World. You must remember at the start of the video, this is the, the, the set um, from Forge World that costs 38 pounds and it has all the, the weapons included. I'll just quickly show you the spare parts it's pretty much just these these two kind of chainsaws off of the the chain fists I've used two and it comes with four so there you go you don't get any more spare parts no extra heads weapons or anything like that we'll go through the miniatures one model at a time and then I'll do some comparisons with some other different pattern terminator armor tactical dreadnought armor they call it let's have a look at the sergeant first of all uh, so this is the kind of pose I've gone for. He was actually the first model I glued together. First ever Tartarus Pattern Terminator. I think he's okay. He's probably one of the weakest poses out of the bunch. I completely ignored the, the Sergeant Breastplate or whatever you want to call it. Went for one of the others, I think. I like the, the Combi Bolter or whatever they call it. So I, I, I went for the, the Combi Bolter <clears throat> kind of option on them. Remember, for every five models, one of them can uh, have a heavy flamer, which I've, I've got one that has has that, a Reaper autocannon or a plasma blaster. And also any ter Terminator and or Terminator Sergeant can also replace their bol combi bolter for a combi weapon or a Volkite charger. And also they can change, change their power weapon for power fist, lightning claw or chain fist or thunder hammer. So any any of them, so you could put any kind of Terminator in there with a with a thunder hammer if you wished. And also you can give them lightning claws and a grenade harness or whatever. What's the difference, Super? I've never come across a different uh, pattern of Terminator armor before. This Tartarus pattern looks very similar to just like a Contempt of Dreadnought, really, just a, a miniature version. But basically, you've got relentless and bulky special rules, but they're not able to make sweep in advance and they can't be transported in rhinos and um, and the armour affords 2 plus normal save and a 5 plus invulnerable then you have the cataphracti eye terminator armour that's a little bit different you've got an invulnerable save of 4 plus which is pretty awesome however they are slow and purposeful instead of relentless it's up to you whether you think that trade off is worth it so that was the, the sergeant uh, this is um, model that I spent quite a long time on because I did have him just with one foot on the ground then I changed it to two I had him quite far back in my opinion this was the model that um, I had a, a few complications with the gun wasn't completely level where the power fist was it might be worth you chain using a different power fist but again I didn't really want a sergeant running because I've got quite a few terminator armor sergeants running I've just gone for this this one I think it worked out quite well then I've got the, the Heavy Flamer, yeah I'd love to, to equip him with a Reaper Auto Cannon. I might get another set of these, I'm not sure, I'm still thinking about it. The Cataphracti Eye ones, they, they only have the Heavy Flamer in the box. I'd rather just in my chapter have a squad of five with the Tartarus pattern and a squad of five with the Cataphracti Eye. I might go down another route with, an, with another five of Cataphracti Eye with a Reaper Auto Cannon or a Plasma Blast or whatever. But at the moment, this is just the weapon that he comes with, the Heavy Flamer. I've given him a Chain Fist as well. He's pretty decent. I'm, I'm happy with the way he turned out. 
then probably the weakest kind of model that I've that I've made. Well, he's not too bad. I've got the weight and things right for him. He's, he's about to swing his chain fist there. Not too bad. But again, with these, with the super glue, it's very tricky. You really need to plan ahead and get your pose just right before you glue anything. Because unlike plastic, where you've got that magic 10, 20 minutes where you can pull it apart quite easily and then re-glue it and you haven't got that with super glue and the longer you leave it the less likelihood you're going to be able to prise the parts apart and then finally this pose not too bad a pose he's clenching his fist he's probably just punched or about to punch something or he may even be signaling to somewhere that's that's the last one of the squad i, I do like their shoulder pads and things and i love the the chunkiness of the combi bolters so that's the, the Tartarus Pattern Terminators. I really like these models. They do look like mini Contempt of Dreadnoughts. I think they're pretty damn cool. I know some people prefer Cataphracti and some people prefer these. These look very thin and not that bulky, apart from the chest area and things, compared to, say, normal Terminators. And we're just gonna go and compare them now. And just like that, I've I've just put them out. Um, as you can see, the sergeant is in a very similar pose actually to that one. But this really gives you a, a good indication of the, the differences. Height-wise, they're sort of on par, but it depends what type of helmet you prefer and whether you like all the plates that the that the cataphracti eye bring. And look at the difference in the the combi bolters there. It's up to you whether you like the barrel drums with the compensators or whatever you want to call them. And the chest piece. I mean, you can really see how this looks like a mini contempt dreadnought. And the power swords, not much of a difference there. I do need to clean that one up on the top, I've just realised. So that's the, the sergeants. Let's just have a look at one of these. So there the cataphracti eye looks a little bit taller, but that might just be because his legs are straighter. There the back. I, I do like the armour plating system on the back, as opposed to like your normal standard Space Marine legs. I mean, they're, they're only a little bit thicker than Space Marine legs, I think. And how the chain fist is sort of like, it's just the chains, chainsaw blade and no power fist to it, but yet that is a chain fist. Whereas this is a proper power fist with a with a chain sword kind of built in, and then the heavy flamer. This is probably a good good comparison too. This heavy flamer is kind of a horizontal one, and this is a vertical one. Again, look at the detail on the the boots. I like both of them. I think there's plenty of room to have both of them. And let's just quickly compare them to the, the normal Terminators that you now see today. And already I'm seeing some kind of theme here with the poses of the sergeants I've gone for. And with all three, they're in a very similar similar pose, similar position. Um, and likewise with the, the running guy, this is probably a very good comparison. I just really like the, the newer Terminators, I suppose. Older but newer, if that makes sense. These are the older but newer, if that makes sense. And these are the newer but older. Anyway, you know what I mean. I don't think anything can kind of beat the look of those Terminators. It might just be that they're in our minds and they've been in our minds the longest. But there we go. And probably the Heavy Flamer is, is a good one too. I just thought I'd, I'd show you the differences. Tartarus pattern being kind of lighter, I'd say more manoeuvrable, but it doesn't really matter rules wise. Both of these are exactly the same. You could use both types in, in your Horus Heresy army. There's there's no stipulation that you have to use Tartarus pattern. It just says that they're equipped with pow with uh, Terminator armor. Likewise, Cataphracti Eye, your new um, Space Marine Codex uh, supplement that it's, we're in April at the moment, so this video is probably out in June or July, maybe. So that, that came out in April, uh, the supplement. That shows that you can actually use these Cataphracti Eye now in your, your 40k armies with their, their 4 plus invulnerable. I'll say newer Terminators, they're definitely a lot more chunky if you compare them to the old ones. Armour is a lot more rounded, but size-wise, they're a very similar size. 
I'd probably say that the Cataphracti eye looks more bulky, if that makes sense. Bulky in, in that there's more plates and things like that going on. But round, rounded bulkiness, definitely the Terminators uh, are still very, very bulky. And just wide, aren't they? But everything just looks more refined and efficient rather than the old school knightly armour in, in a way. Uh, just to give you some kind of comparisons. And there we have it. That's the end of my unboxing and review. Please do put it in the comments what you think about the Tartarus Pattern Terminators. Whether they're your favourite. If you've got some. They do look like like little baby Contemptor Dreadnoughts. I think they're pretty cool. I think there's plenty of space in the universe to have multiple different patterns of um, Terminator armour. And they kind of look sort of similar to the you know your mark for power armor too they kind of fit with your your horus heresy armor already so thank you for joining me today and thank you for watching the emperor protects